Hi, I'm Teresa Greenan, creator of Family the Web Series. And I'm Larry Golding, executive producer. For the month of May, the fictional storyline is on hold, and instead you get to meet actors Amber Rack, Ernie Joseph, and Eric Smiley in their real lives behind the series. And now let's meet the actress who brings Gemma to life, Amber Rack. Hi, Amber. Hello, come in. Thanks for having us, Matt. That's with Matt me. On camera. Hi, Amber. <laughs> you are one of the only people who said, no, 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 don't come to my workplace. So can we talk about your work? We can talk about my work. I mean, I, I work at a credit union and it's a great place to work, mm -hmm. but at the same time, it's not particularly interesting to film me sitting at a desk all day. <laughs> I didn't want to disrupt any of the people around me because we have a very open work environment. I work downtown. Nothing to see there. <laughs> yeah. Looks like you've been playing some PlayStation. It's called Folklore, which is graphically very nice, but takes a long time to play because you don't get to play as much as they tell you the story. <laughs> So I actually, I don't play it very often. I'm not one of those D&D &D geeks that <laughs> sit around for eight hours playing. I'm hardly ever home to sit and watch TV or listen to music or play games or anything. I'm usually running around to rehearsals or filming or you know something social in the evenings. 11 o'clock is like my get home time a lot of days. One of the things that I do every weekend, I've been assisting with the Freehold Stage Combat class practicing with swords and learning how to fight each other safely. And then I come over the top to three. Yeah! Right now what you're watching is the beginning of our unarmed choreography. This is one of three weapons that this program teaches along with the rapier and dagger and the broadsword. I think we saw John Peck in there who appeared in episode three. Of yes, Family. John is Peck right? is in the class, yes, yes. <laughs> Everybody will be able to test in at least one weapon at the end of the quarter. Probably seven or eight years ago I took this class. Now I am one of two assistants for the, the class. How many plays and films have you done this year? I don't know. I, I don't count. We're taking a break from the family episodes and I think I'm going to take a break from the theater for a little while just to come back fresh to it when it can still be fun. I need to relax and get outdoors and enjoy the sunshine and do some of the other things that I love to do. Do some more work parties with the Washington Trails Association, which I've missed doing. Talk about Ernie and Eric, your co-stars on the show. What do you think of them? Ernie and Eric, I love them. And they're very easy to act with because they're not standoffish in any way. I mean, the whole environment is just so welcoming and family-like to begin with. And you know, I give a lot of credit to you and Scott and Larry for opening up your, your home to provide that environment. Ernie and I had already known each other from past projects. He was the star and I was the extra. <laughs> but now on Family, you're the star and he's just your leading man. <laughs> they're easy to get along with because they are so open and generous and giving of themselves. And it, it's just a, a pleasure to work with them every time. Photography has been a pretty passionate hobby of mine since high school, really. I was heavily involved in my uh, high school yearbook activities and I was the photo editor and primary photographer for a lot of different activities. We knew how to roll our own film and you know we knew how to get the film onto the reels in the darkroom and develop the negatives and then process the prints and I am shooting both digital and film. I have a point and shoot digital which was the best birthday present that anybody ever gave me. And then when I go out, you know, hiking up the mountains, I still take my film camera because I can't afford a good digital SLR yet, but that's one of my goals. This is my grandmother's garden, and all of these were taken on a hike at Mount St. Helens. This was on a birthday hike I did uh, at Mount Rainier. They have this policy where if they go through somebody's film and they see something that they really like, they'll do a courtesy enlargement and give you a discount on it. Well, not only did they do a courtesy enlargement for it, I came back to pick this up and they had it framed for me. I've been to Yellowstone and Glacier and last year I just went out to the Olympics and hiked around some beaches for a little while. Well, standing by the book case, do you read a lot? I used to read so much. College burned me out on reading. I had some very literature intense programs in college. I went to Evergreen. And some of these books are, are actually still from my college programs. My Complete Works of Plato, The Odyssey and the Iliad. You've got your Sherlock Holmes there. I've never read the Complete series, but I've seen everything that Jeremy Brett has done. So <laughs> I love that character, and I can't wait to see Robert Downey Jr. as Sherlock Holmes. <laughs>
And then I have uh, my collection of Shakespeare that I inherited from my mom and some of my favorite plays and scripts that I've collected from performances. Douglas Adams' Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy and a whole collection of Roger Zelazny. A collection of Nancy Drew from when I was a kid. My collection of Harry Potter books, which you gotta love those. And my favorite comic series, which is Elf Quest. Our dear friend Scott Campbell got you your Elf Quest. Yes, book, he, he did, and I was so thrilled. It was such a surprise. <laughs> this is the volume, the first volume of Elf Quest, the graphic novel that I had had, you know, from years ago. I was a kid and I didn't have any money, and these things cost, you know, 20, 30 bucks a pop. I had enough money to buy one. And then the next thing I knew, I was grown up and gone through college and they were out of print. I was so amazed and thrilled that he had found like the whole collection, at least the, the first four archives, and got them for me. That was just... I have several of his books sitting around now too that I've just... I've read two of them and I've picked up his collection of short stories and mm -hmm. read a bit of that. What's the one book or one author that you just find yourself reaching for just to cheer you up? It's not a particular author that I would go to, but I would go to a children's book. Easy read... Um feel-good story like Nancy and Plum, or The Wolves of Willoughby Chase, Blue Willow, and Understood Betsy. Th those are some of my favorite feel-good books. Who do you hang out with? Who do you date? <laughs> You're not gonna get an easy answer to that one. Do you date the guys on the show? Ernie and Eric? Mm -mm, no. I saw Eric outside of the show uh, a couple times. I worked on a, a film project for him that he was doing, and he was nice enough to cut my hair. And we had a, a great conversation and I got to know a little bit more about him and found out that you know we have mutual friends from where I grew up on Vashon. And Burning Man, yeah, even though we haven't you know been to Burning Man at the same time. And I've run into Ernie a couple times outside of the show, but we've, we've never actually been on any kind of official date. I frequently go hiking by myself. Not the safest thing to do, I know, but uh, it's nice to be kind of alone with my camera and be able to focus on what I want to do out there without having to worry about entertaining someone else who's with me. That's what I take camping with me. One of my co-workers that I used to date, um, he and I have done a lot of hiking together. So you stay friends with the guys you used to date? As much as possible, I, I really try to, yeah. Just because the physical chemistry may have lapsed, you don't stop caring about that person. So seriously, who do you date? <laughs> what kind of guys does Amber Rack like? <laughs> there's, there's no there's no rhyme or reason to it. If you want to call it that, I had two dates yesterday, but they were both platonic. <laughs> do you have lots of boyfriends? I don't think so, no. No. So you are a real Seattle outdoors woman. I was born in California. My parents moved us to Seattle when I was very young, but I don't really think of myself as a Seattle native. I would love to go back to California one of these days. I'm a sunshine and ocean beaches kind of person. I love being surrounded by so much, you know, water and trees and, and mountains. It's a really beautiful place to be, but I do miss the ocean. Do you cook? No. <laughs> I like fruit a lot. I will eat fresh fruit all day long. A slice of Gouda and a couple apples and a half a baguette. I didn't start drinking alcohol until I was 30. I don't really keep it around the house at all. Same with desserts. I very rarely bring sugar into my apartment, even though I'll eat dessert at a restaurant quite frequently. I don't need that stuff. My brother likes to tease me that there's never anything in my refrigerator. Yogurt, cheese, applesauce, eggs. I love my brother. He's in Bellingham. He's a musician. He's a fabulous drummer. He's been playing in bands since he was in high school. Um, he's very smart. So do you see each other a lot, you and your brother? Not a lot. We see each other with my parents for lunch or something, or it's a holiday, and a few times a year. I went and saw him play at Chop Suey one night, which was a really great experience. They still live on Vashon. Um, I will see them tonight, actually. They're gonna come see my show and then go to dinner afterwards. They both like to come over on the ferry boat when they have a chance and meet me for lunch in the city. Thank you so much, Amber, for letting us visit you in your home. Oh, you're welcome. Rapier 7 and meet Perry Dagger 2. Attempt Perry Dagger 8. Perry, Rapier 7. Oh! Beat Perry Dagger 6. Attempt to replace Rapier 4.